everybody, it's Stacy with As A Tea Brews. Today we are going to open up our Old Barrel Tea Company winter subscription box. Now, I got this in December, um, right before Christmas, and I have been enjoying the teas in here. Um, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. I was sick um, right before Christmas, and then, uh, of course, the whole family was here, and my mom came and visited, and I just didn't have a lot of time to film very much. So um, it is now at the beginning of January, and we are opening up um, this box on camera to film for you guys. Um, and I have had them all, so I'm going to share my thoughts on all of these as well. So now I'm gonna start with my absolute favorite front wall. I don't know, there's two that are kind of tied for favorite um, in this box. Actually, there's they're all good. That's a spoiler there. <laughs> they're all really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one. This is green chili bis biscochito, and I'm not sure I'm saying that right, um, but uh, I'm gonna read you about it and then I'll tell you about the tea in my opinion. Okay, so this one, um, and I love those little descriptions that they give you in the box. It says, steep two to three minutes, enjoy hot with honey while playing board games with the family. This is a green tea. It's actually a sencha tea, and I have said in my videos that I don't like sencha, um, but I like this tea. I love this tea. I've bought two more um, containers of this tea. <laughs> I really, really like this tea. Um, but this one was a limited edition, and um, so I don't know if they have it anymore. Uh, if they don't have it online, I've heard you can call the stores and they can possibly ship it to you from there. Um, okay, so it says this brand new seasonal blend, and so it, they say seasonal blend. Um, it was for the season. I hope they bring it back again next year. Symbolizes new beginnings and hope for a brighter future. And then it says, as 25% of profits from the blend goes towards purchasing and hand delivering toys to underprivileged children in orphanages located across Chihuahua, Mexico. This blend is inspired by the beloved state cookie of New Mexico, often enjoyed during the holiday season, the bizcochito. Much like the cookie, this blend is rich with shortbread flavors, baking spices, vanilla, and anise. It is complemented with Hatch New Mexico green chili powder because New Mexicans put green chili on literally everything. It is rich in vitamins and supports healthy brain function. Now, when I first heard about this one um, and that it had green chili in it, I, it made me nervous, honestly, green chili in a tea. Um, although it shouldn't have because I do put uh, chili powder or what is it, cayenne in uh, the Mexican hot chocolate tea. Uh, well, I put it in Mexican hot chocolate, but then also it's in the Mexican hot chocolate tea from Old Barrel Tea Company, which is delicious also. Um, so this tea, this is about half gone here. You can see all the really big sencha leaves in there and then all the extra little spices. The ingredients are sencha green tea, cinnamon, anise co cacao shells, Hatch New Mexico green chili powder, chamomile, natural flavors. This, this tea <laughs> smells like green chili. <laughs> um, so it's making me, I'm about to like sneeze here. Um, but also you can smell the, um, the cinnamon and the spices there. And um, this tea is just absolutely delicious. I love this tea. I have it with a little bit of um, their vanilla bean honey. Uh, I'm sure any honey is good in it, but I like that extra little vanilla in there for this one. And I am actually sipping on this tea right now. Mm, 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 mm. It's like um, a hint of that spice from there, but the spices and then the honey kind of mellow it out. So it's like this perfect, sweet, I don't even know, um, it's so good. It's so good. And I hope they never stop making this tea because it is absolutely delicious. Okay. Now that I took half the video for one tea, <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and do the rest. Okay. Now this tea, I just barely had one cup of today, so I'm not as familiar with this one. But this is the Belizean Sorel Gayusa and Horchata Roibus. And it's a herbal and rooibos. And um, with a lot of the teas from Old Barrel Tea Company, they'll kind of blend two different teas in different ways that they have separately. And so you can get them um, individually on their website often, or you can buy a blend, or you can just get them both individually and blend your own. And sometimes for the seasonal boxes, they'll 
um, they'll do new blends um, with some of their already ex existing teas, which is fun because you may not have thought to combine them in those ways. And I hadn't tried either of these teas. I was curious about the horchata rooibos, um, but I don't typically buy any Gaiusas. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. I apologize. Um, but here is the, here's the tea container. And this one says mold wine, tangy and spiced. It says enjoy hot with honey and a cinnamon stick. Now I had a little bit of honey in this one. Um, also I was just on a honey mood when I had this, I guess. Um, but this one has dried Gaiusa leaves, hibiscus, uh, some kind of berries. I can't, the writing's a little small here and I'm getting old people. Uh, cinnamon bark, coconut slivers, beet powder, licorice root, red rooibos, and natural flavors. So this tea smells a little bit fruity and a little bit tropical-y from the coconut with the um, horchata in there. And I can't get this one open again to smell it right now, to remind me. Um, but I did enjoy this. Uh, it was different than other teas that I have had before and um, I liked it. I enjoyed this one. This one's caffeine free, um, which is nice that they send a combination of caffeine and caffeinated and caffeine free teas so that you can enjoy them throughout the day. Um, and on the description paper, um, it says, uh, steep five minutes, prepare hot or iced with honey to share at holiday parties and gatherings. This blend is a cultural infusion of flavors from around the world. One blend is tangy and tropical, while the other takes a spin on the traditional Mexican rice milk beverage horchata. Reminiscent of a mulled wine, the spiced fruit blend combination is high in antioxidants and acts as a detoxifier. This tea is made with tea from South America and Africa and features flavors of hibiscus, cinnamon, coconut, and vanilla. A new Mexican celebration never goes without a toast, so gather your friends and family and salute to the traditions that bring us together. So. It's a nice tea. I don't know that it's one that I would continue to purchase, um, but I am happy to have the chance to try it and I'm sure I will finish that tin. Okay, so the next blend is a bourbon brew and pecan pie puer. And this is a rooibos and puer mix. And it says butterscotch, sweet praline, and oak. Um, steep five minutes, enjoy hot with honey, add a splash of bourbon to make a decadent tea cocktail. I have not tried it with bourbon. <laughs> um, this blend captures the spirit of the holiday season in a cup. Flavors of vanilla, oak, cinnamon, maple, and New Mexican grown pecans blend together to create a tea reminiscent of pecan flavored bourbon. This dessert, like blend, captures all the things we love about seasonal sweets and lively holiday celebrations. It is decadent, it is delicious, and it is easy to spice up with a bit of holiday cheer, AKA bourbon. We recommend enjoying this blend as a cocktail or simply by itself to cure that seasonal sweet tooth and support immunity. And this one was really yummy. I had this one with some honey as well. Mm, I love their pecan pie and blended with that, um, that kind of rich bourbon uh, brew makes this one smell so good, so good. Mm, it does smell like butterscotch and uh, and pralines. Okay, I really enjoy this one. And they have another um, blend with the bourbon brew. I have the pecan, pecan pie puer plain and I like it, um, but I think I like it better with the bourbon brew. And I have a bourbon brew with like a lemongrass, some kind of lemongrass tea mixed in from the fall box, I believe. And that one was really good as well. Okay, the next one we have is ginger chai. And this is a black tea. Now, I don't drink a lot of black teas, but I'm gonna tell you this black tea is delicious. I really, really like this one. It is super spicy smelling. You can see right away all the cloves and the ginger in there. And um, I love this tea. I love this tea plain. It's super, super yummy. I've had it um, a couple of times. It still seems quite full, but I've had it two or three times already. It says robust, spicy, decadent. Steep seven to 10 minutes, enjoy hot with a dash of cream on chilly mornings. Did I add cream to it? I can't remember, I think I just drank it plain. This chai immediately brings you back to childhood as the nostalgic aroma of baking spices fill the air. Just like the aroma of grandma's kitchen during the holidays, the sweet and rich flavors of cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, and clove are reminiscent of childhood. A time when we built gingerbread houses and indulged guiltlessly in sweets to celebrate the holiday season. Fill your home and body with the warmth of the season by enjoying on a cold winter morning as the ingredients in this blend promote circulation and give you the perfect boost of energy to start the day. It's really good, really, really good. 
I like that blend a lot. I don't know what else to say about it other than it was delicious, delicious just as it is. Okay, and this next one is Christmas Cabin Puer. Now, I um, already have this tea. I am almost out of my other tin of it, but um, I did open this one just for the sake of opening it, but it will probably just get, oh, it smells so good, you guys. Mm, it's um, gonna get dumped into the larger container um, after this video probably because I just like the larger square containers better. But um, this one, it just immediately smells like coffee and chocolate and mint. It is so good. Um, and I got this one last winter just without the box. I wasn't subscribing to the box then, um, but I really, really enjoy this one. It says, um, steep five to 10 minutes, enjoy hot with cream and honey and enjoy on a cold winter day. The ingredients are American Oak, Puer Tea, New Mexico Pinion Coffee, Adobe Morning, Cacao Shells, Peppermint, Safflower, and Natural Flavors. So uh, these little containers, sometimes the writing's really small on them and it is hard for me to read. The little description on their um, paper in the box says, this decadent Puer blend is full of warming chocolate, mint, and coffee flavors. It is inspired by the holiday season in the birthplace of our family tea company, Rudoso, New Mexico. Picture blankets of snow covering the roofs of cozy cabins as freshly cut pine trees decorated in twinkly lights and candy canes illuminate each window. Family and friends warm up their frosty noses by the fireplace after a day of dodging snowballs and celebrating the season. This energizing and digestion boosting blend is made with coffee beans from one of our favorite New Mexican brands, New Mexico Pinion Coffee. So I have had this one plain and I like it and I've had it with honey and I like it. Um, I have not added cream to it, um, but I'm sure that would be good as well. So I highly recommend this blend if they still have it. That is a seasonal one also. Love, love, love it. Um, and then the last one in the box is peppermint and ginger herbal tea. Now this is another caffeine free one and it's, um, I believe just peppermint leaves and ginger root pieces. So these two ingredients really complement each other nicely. And, um, I enjoy this tea as is or with honey. Um, according to their little paper, it says steep five to 10 minutes, enjoy hot or iced and with or without honey to unwind and find balance. This combination is made of warming and cooling to sains, which bring a sense of balance and remind us to take care of our bodies during the indulgent holiday season. This tea is invigoratingly fresh with mint and toasty with a hint of spiced ginger. Both peppermint and ginger are known for their abilities to soothe common ailments, including relieving headaches, calming an upset stomach, and boosting your body's immune and digestive systems. We recommend enjoying after an indulgent meal to promote digestion or to find your center and sense of calm during the busy holiday season. So I enjoyed that one a lot. Okay, as a Tea Club member, you get 15% off in store and online on the Loose Leaf Tea. So if you have not already subscribed to their box, I highly recommend it. It's a fun way to try new teas that you might not have tried before. Um, five of the six teas here were ones, um, either individual teas or combinations that I've never tried. And I loved every single tea in this box. <laughs> they are all delicious. Um, so, um, I highly recommend that if you are able to, I think it was about $40 for a box. Um, if I remember correctly and it's, uh, just seasonally. So there's a, the next box should be the spring box. And I think that will probably ship in March, maybe mid March, but they just do spring, summer, fall, and winter. Um, and so it's not monthly, it's every um, few months. And I find that that's a lot easier to handle than getting a box every single month from somewhere. Um, that is it for that. I have another box from them that I, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys right now because I've already told you two of the things in it. Um, so I will, yeah, I'll just share that. So I have a box here that I've been waiting to unpack. Um, they sent me a sample of Christmas Cabin, which I've already told you I love. It was in this tea box. I have a box, I have a tin of it, and now I have another tin of it, and now I have a sample of it. Um, I really, really enjoy this tea. Actually, after this video, I might go make that one. Hmm. I don't know, I have found myself making cup after cup of this green chili bizcochito because I like it so much. Okay, so in this box I have, and this is what I told you guys I ordered, two tins of their green chili bizcochito. 
and it is delicious. Comforting spiced shortbread. Enjoy hot with honey. And that is exactly how I drink it, especially good with their Mexican vanilla bean honey. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad I was able to get that because it disappeared off their website and I emailed them and they said it was, um, they didn't have it online anymore that, but I could call the stores and order it um, from the stores. And I was, I didn't get a chance to do that, but I checked their website again and it was back there. So I went ahead and ordered it. Okay. So then I also ordered two of their honeys. Okay, that bubble wrap is kind of noisy. Okay, I got another salt cedar. Um, I have already gone through a whole jar of this, well, with the help of my family. <laughs> um, and I really enjoy this honey. This one looks slightly lighter, but you know, they're all going to vary in flavor and color, I'm sure, depending on the batch. Um, but what they do is they have, hmm, um, this one's like a nice, rich, uh, kind of honey and it's really good in like fall and winter blends um, and that's I think why I finished it up because I was using it in a lot of fall blends but they will place uh, like the hives near um, so, or in or near certain trees or plants and that's kind of how they get the different flavors of honey and they don't actually they don't add anything to it to get the flavors they're just naturally cultivated from areas that bees um, go to those type of trees or plants Okay, so the next one I got, this one is a repurchase also. This is the sunflower honey, and um, we went through this jar quite a while ago, and I just haven't ordered more. Mm, this one is like a um, kind of a bright, um, bright, sweet honey, and where the other one was more like warm and rich, this one's um, kind of bright and sweet, and uh, this is really good in lighter teas like chamomile. And so I was really missing having this honey for certain teas. Um, so I'm glad that I was able to order that one again. And I did notice they have some new flavors, um, new honeys up on their website, such as oak. And I've never tried that one, but that one sounds really interesting to me. So I may have to get that one um, when I order teas next time. I did just finish um, one of their teas that I love, and I know I'm getting low on a couple of them. So um, anyway, thank you for sticking with me in this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried Old Barrel Tea Company and what you think, what your favorite teas are. If you have never tried Old Barrel Tea Company, um, I will also drop the coupon code down below that you can use on your first order only um, to get a percentage off and um, yeah, I love their teas. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. We'll talk to you later, bye. Oh,